Good morning, everybody. Chris Bradley with the Weather Geek Report here on this Wednesday. Two big things we're talking about here today. The warm up. We're talking about the warmest temperatures since last summer. And we're also going to be tracking some showers and storms as well. So let's get right to it. Big storms last night, tornadoes touching down across Kansas. That storm system is going to be moving east, but boy, it's got a long ways to go before it reaches us. So here's what we had last night. Let me show you where these storms are going to be today. It looks like some of the bigger storms will be moving their way up right up here to around Chicago, but also be in the upper Midwest as well. So Illinois back across parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin. That's where I think we could see the storms today. Not here in Ohio, kind of interesting. We're still calling for about a 20% chance of a pop-up shower here or there. Look at this, this is the latest computer model here. This is the WARF, so this is the high resolution NAM, and um, that stands for the North American model. Uh, basically, not a lot of coverage of the rain at all, and this actually may be a little bit too high. So. Don't cancel your plan. It's going to be a pretty nice day. I thought we'd see some storms tomorrow, but check this out. The latest computer model now showing a lot of this staying north up across Lake Erie, across parts of Ontario and into southern Michigan. Let's see how that shakes out. We may end up with a pretty decent day tomorrow as well. Temps are going to be the big story. It's starting to warm up. We'll call it the warmest in eight months around here. Add to that increasing humidity values. This is a look at the dew point. So what the dew point is, is a measure of the amount of moisture in the atmosphere. It's been very nice. It's been in the 40s and 50s. So it's been, you know, crisp. But we're coming up over 60 degrees. Watch it as it gets over 65 heading to 70. It starts getting a little sticky. And that actually is important because that is going to help with these pop up afternoon showers and storms, which I think are going to be heading our way. So here's Friday. I mean, the model's really broad here. There's an area of low pressure back across Kansas. There are showers and storms across the Midwest and Ohio Valley. Hard to tell what we have uh, as far as intensity here, but just kind of know there'll be pop-ups. Even Ohio doesn't look overly impressive here. Okay, going ahead to Saturday, same thing. You know, we've got storms breaking out. I think Saturday, we could see some thunderstorms late in the day into the evening. Again, don't cancel your plans. Same thing as we head into Sunday. I know there are a lot of uh, picnics and barbecues. Actually, the coverage looks a little bit less here. Uh, so I'll continue to monitor that. Maybe it's 20% versus 30. And then here we are on Memorial Day. Again, not a washout, a few pop-ups here or there. Warm temperatures remaining in the middle to upper 80s. So good weather to hit the swimming pool or maybe the lake. I'll keep you updated on the storms. We'll keep an eye on the temperature trend as well. I'll look for you for 10 TV news at 5, 5, 36 and 11. I'll have a Weather Geek report this afternoon and look for Weather Geek Live tonight at 10. Remember, you can catch my forecast on the radio as well. I'm on Mix 107.9 and Sunny 95. Have a great day, everybody.